and happy Monday. Welcome back to another Squadcast. I'm Camille. Joining me is Caboose, Alex, and we got Paul back today. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? I'm good. Thanks, Camille. Uh, Paul, you have to let us know, uh, what is the your favorite article right now that you wrote? My favorite Sunday? article? Hmm. Right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. Yeah. Okay, so the new... That you wrote ever. Okay, so I've been, I've been really... <laughs> Guys, you're putting me on the spot here. There's, um, <laughs> uh, there's so Legends of Ranchera had a new uh, expansion come out. I okay. made Boo, uh, Aurelian Soul. Boo. Oh my god, that's like a <laughs> hard. Okay, so you gotta check out the article. I made a top five uh, super hype deck lists. You gotta try out. So, Ooh. um, theory cra- I, it was me theory crafting. So, if you're looking for new uh, Ranchera decks, check it out. Yeah. It will definitely I'm help read that, like actually. myself. And I feel like Caboose is also a noob uh, based on his uh, reaction to that. He's like, yes, Rintera, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was actually spacing out. He's probably <laughs> thinking of... Uh, I've, been wait- I've been waiting for... He's for thinking of Captain America. As an <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Runeterra now added uh, the whole Marvel crew. <laughs> <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. He'll start <laughs> He's just lit up. Suddenly yeah. interested. Yeah. Oh my like, god! What? Wrong game. Spider Man. But we'll up, we'll probably talk about that some other day. Uh, today, Aww. chat, we're going to be talking about the best of Gamescom, Gotham Knights, our uh, new details. Caboose is mm-hmm. super excited about that one. Mm-hmm. How Legends of Runeterra is setting the new C- CG standard. So uh, more Runeterra for you, Caboose. Oh yeah. And women in gaming, <laughs> how far we've come and how much further we need to go. Uh, so before we get into that, I, I just want to ask everyone in chat uh, just to send some love. Drop your highs. Drop your how are yous. Drop your rune Terra. You know what? That, that That's something that they should add, like memes that you could drop in Twitch chat. And then I'd be like, drop some rune Terra. <laughs> that is the thing. <laughs> Sometimes people will go like, let me get a poggers in the chat. You know, that, that's... I yeah, feel like that's we're, pretty... we're trying to be different here. We want <laughs> Rune Terra emo. Okay, yeah. let, me get a squad, <laughs> let me get a squad. Hey, guys, please. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Actually, my, my favorite is Squad Sad Evan. I don't even know who Evan is, but this is my favorite. <laughs> hilarious a sad evan classic. show before but it's just uh it's it's just a classic man he looks so sad it just he looks sad. really sad right super defeated so chat, oh, if, you have, sad. <laughs> chat if you have <laughs> any um thoughts on any of the topics that we're going to talk about today make sure to get your thoughts in order and let your voice be heard in chat as well as on social. So I'll be checking Twitter as we go along. So you could always tweet us things if you clip things that are funny. Um, like <laughs> Caboose's reaction when I said Marvel in Runeterra. Um, clip it and then we could talk about it right here if you tweet us. Uh, so let us Do know. It. All right, guys. Let's jump into it with Gamescom. Hands up if you watched. <laughs> okay. Oh no! What, you can't put away. your hand. You're supposed to be with me. <laughs> um, right. Alex, Don't leave me. I'm with you, Alex. I'm with you. No, I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Like, are you? Is okay. Everyone, you kind of know what Gamescom is, right? Like, um, is this like an event you guys look forward to every year, or is it kind of like okay, this this is just kind of a filler convention? I'm not really watching. I mean, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's no, it's no E3 for me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not, I'm not anticipating Gamescom every year, but I guess this year I expected it'll be a little different uh, because this was supposed to be the big finale to Summer Game Fest for Jeff Keighley, which like, listen, I love Jeff Keighley, fellow, fellow Canadian, you know, like ton of respect for what he's done and been able to do within the games industry and the Mm -hmm. impact that he's had on it for sure. Like undoubtedly. He has had a major impact, and I respect the hell out of him. Oh, but, of course. Oh, my God. What a disaster <laughs> Summer Game Fest was. What the hell was it? What was it? Uh, like, okay, wasn't a complete... Okay, Summer oh, Game Fest was wasn't a complete okay. it disaster. Was. Because it it did have, he did have news coming out. There were trailers associated with Summer Game Fest that we saw that premiered. Um... But we just thought it would be a bigger thing. Maybe he should have had it where it was like shorter, like maybe a summer game weekend, you know? Yeah. Um, 
But then I think it, it just was drawn out way too much. But that's a whole nother topic on it's, its own. It's, it's honestly beyond. Sorry, I don't want to divulge no, 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 too much. Ahead, but it's, ahead, like, it's, it's, it's not that it's just that it was drawn out. It was just like, what was it? Like, what? <laughs> What was it supposed to be? Why, like, why is Summer Game Fest tweeting about the Xbox showcase like they're involved in it? You know, like, yeah. yes, Jeff Keighley did some interviews and stuff, sure, but like, he didn't do the Xbox showcase. Stuff like that is what I thought was going to come out of Summer Game Fest. It seemed like Summer Game Fest was just, it was just created to be like a social media thing, and that's it. And I just, yeah. I don't understand the concept of it. It was pointless. It was pointless. You were Go so off, Caboots. Red right now. <laughs> it, was, it was dumb. Like and this and this Gamescom thing being like the big finale. It's like okay, you got Ratchet and Clank in there. You showed off Star Wars, like pretty cool, but like not the I epic like, yeah. finale. Yeah, it's to not Summer like Game a Fest. huge finale. I think you know? with our, um Game Fest. You do have a point. It was kind of like all over the place in the terms of the type of content we were seeing. Like I thought it would be more from a perspective of like lots of interviews, but there was a, quite a bit of coverage where it kind of seemed like he had his hand in in developing these games or just really close to these titles, um, which I think that's fine. Um, but sometimes people could look at this and actually this is the same thing with the game awards that he's been criticized uh with from other people watching they feel that maybe he has too close of a relationship to developers and the people behind uh the scenes on games so when it comes to things like awards which gamescom actually put out uh people mm. kind of question the legitimacy of them um but i i do want to talk about gamescom the finale uh because like you mentioned there were you know we got ratchet and clank we got squadron uh, we got a one trailer I'm really happy about the Call of Duty uh, narrative uh, for Cold War. Uh, that trailer, mm. yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of COD, and I cannot wait to Cold War. So it was great to see the story and how it plays out, and knowing that we're going to be able to actually customize a character in the campaign, which is wow. yeah. huge. Mm -hmm. That is huge. Yeah. Like, have any of you actually played through a Call of Duty campaign before? The original Black Ops I did, yeah. No, yeah. wasn't that supposed to be really good? That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> can, you explain, can you explain the gate, the, the character customization you're talking about? Wait, what is that yeah, exactly? So you're going to be able to, for the main character, you could actually create your own character. In oh, so you're not playing as Woods? So, no. like, customized face, eyes, all that stuff, hair. Yeah, within oh, the, of the game. Ah, cool. So, um, <laughs> nice. that, that's going to be really cool. Um, I feel like... Also, just Call of Duty does really good campaign stories. Mm -hmm. um, most like, of the time. Wait, most of the time. <laughs> they do controversial stories. That's for sure. Yeah. Like Nazi but, songs? Was that a thing? <laughs> well, that was like the Nazi <laughs> one, yeah. Oh. It wasn't like a part of their story or anything. Oh. I mean, there, there is a whole narrative in that side, too, actually. Oh, okay. But it's more What's like it? lore than it is like. A, a yeah, told narrative, you know, it's mm -hmm. like you have to play zombies to and like do specific things while you're playing to yeah. unlock what the story is, yeah. um, which is one of my favorite things to do. But even when you look at like, say, modern warfare, like they're usually short campaigns, but they're really well done and like the graphics are really good as modern well. Warfare was and, really good. Yes, yeah. it was yeah. so good. very cinematic. And, mm -hmm. Remember the days when they would get like really good actors i don't want to mention a specific actor my because like they, oh yeah that, you know <laughs> well that's what i was talking about <laughs> <laughs> well that's not like that was well, now you have to die that, that, that wasn't mm. their fault wait wait no, wait no. what i now you have to say oh House no cards. yeah i feel like you're inclined to tell us now i don't know okay so i'm trying to remember was it black advanced Ops? warfare oh advanced warfare um they had <laughs> they had House of cards uh, frank yeah, woods yeah no, so not frank had kevin spacey underwood frank uh, oh, wow. in it as well but then obviously all the the um things that he's done <laughs> yeah. uh, kind of hurts yeah. that reputation for that game but previously as well like they've had a lot of celebrities um actually appear in their campaign so that's something that they're really invested in and and that's something that i'm happy to play through because right. again mm -hmm. a fan um 
So that was like my biggest takeaway. Caboose, uh, Paul, I know you guys saw a little bit. What was your like favorite moment for the like trailers or reveals? Oh, I got I got the answer. My favorite moment was probably <laughs> Oh, was, uh, going was off like he has, the, he has the fight to stay awake. Like no, that was no. the coolest part of the movie. Was that I didn't fall asleep. Like I was like, <laughs> wow, this is so exciting. I stayed awake through this whole thing. You know, it was crazy. That was that was the most exciting part. For sure. No empathy for Gamescon. Oh my god. No. Okay. Ratchet and Clank looks great. Like I, I love that we got like a full on look at next gen through Ratchet and Clank. I thought that was mm -hmm. a really good demo. Uh, I very much showcased like the power of the SSDs, being able to mm -hmm. load like an entire new area right on the fly. That's awesome. The depth mm -hmm. of field, all that stuff looked really great. There was some great resolution textures, some motion blur that didn't look too great. But overall, <laughs> like I was pretty happy with the Ratchet and Clank demo. Um, and then Star Wars, like that, just looks like a lot of fun. Like the Skywalker oh. thing looked like a lot of fun. The Star Wars looked hype, man. Lego Star Wars. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude! Oh, that's I got a good thing. I was talking. I was thinking Squadron. No, I don't really oh. care about that game. Which, which, like, I think this trailer made me not really care about the game, which is crazy. Yeah. Because I usually like, um, not flight simulators. I'm like not that much of a a flight nerd, but mm. I do like being in space. So I like that feeling. Um, maybe I'll test it out squadrons in VR because the whole game will be available in VR as well, which would be really cool. I'm going to have to like. That could be fun. It seems like a good friend. VR game. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you mm. will get sick, though, because like you're spinning and uh, I'd like throw up motion uh, sickness. But that's part of it. <laughs> yeah. That's part, that's part of the experience. But, like, the vertigo. Yeah, the vertigo of it all. Uh, but yeah. that game specifically, it was just like there's a. It seems like it's a lot of the same thing, which that's why I probably won't buy the game. I'll test it out if my friend gets it. Uh, mm -hmm. Paul, how about you? What was you? You were you're talking about Lego a lot. Yeah, I so I I, I was playing um what you call it. I got the free uh, Epic game Lego like a few mm. weeks months. I don't know when I don't know when they mm. gave it out for free, but then I just started grinding the game with uh with my girlfriend. So then we all we started buying the the Lego collection, and then Gamescon came out, and then we saw Lego Star Wars, and whoo, that was good. If you guys haven't seen the wow. trailer, there's a part Man, you're where... you're really hyped up about it. I'm about to Dude, I'm no, 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 no. Okay, the trailer hyped me up, because there's this part in the trailer, <laughs> I won't spoil it, about okay. midway through, you're going to hear something. I told Caboose this already. You're going to hear something, and that's when it hits you. So that's the part that got Here's me. If you, haven't, if you haven't watched it yet, you gonna watch. You got to watch the Lego trailer. You got to wait to about halfway through you hear something amazing and you're just like, I got to buy this game. So that effect happened to me. And uh, I mean, I saw Yaddle was playable so that I was in, I was sold. Yeah. Isn't Yaddle like Yoda's brother? Isn't that? <laughs> Yoda, Yoda and Yaddle? I think so. Yeah. What's her name? No, like literally, I'm not even oh. messing around. <laughs> there is a character of Star Wars. His name is Yaddle. Is and a younger brother or older brother? He, I don't know, but he looks uh. like Yoda with a mullet. It's incredible. <laughs> That's an older brother vibe right there. Wow. <laughs> incredible um, one of the other things that kind of i think went under the radar for gamescom is a game called 12 minutes have you guys heard of 12 minutes before no what is no it? that looked interesting yeah so i first got my hands well i didn't actually play but i had a behind closed door demo uh last year at e3 and oh, 12 wow. minutes is um by annapurna interactive annapurna yeah interactive uh, so it's an indie game that's coming to mm. xbox and pretty much players are stuck in a 12 minute loop um oh, wow. so what happens in this game is you're you play as a guy who is caught in a loop and someone keeps not like is cut you know at the end of the loop there's police are going to be coming into the apartment or like some and someone else so you're trying to avoid that event over and over again hmm. and what was really interesting last year when i saw it is the gameplay like it was really interesting in terms of the different types of options you have it's kind of like a top-down game um yeah. really really cute animation um i i really like the style of it and you could interact with pretty much anything in the room uh which wow. Which is really good for an indie game. You don't really see that. Like, I feel like sometimes with indie games, because obviously budget um, or like mm -hmm. it's one person working on it, they're not they're that linear. 
Exactly. Uh, right. But this one you could interact with like the vent, right? But you have to find something to open the vent. And like you have to do all these different things to try to avoid um, that confrontation at the end uh, where mm -hmm. you're, I think it's your wife or girlfriend uh, may also be hurt in the process. Mm -hmm. And then they came out with this trailer. Uh, so when I saw the it, they had no voice acting. Okay, yeah. and they came out with this trailer, and okay. they have voice acting, but it's just not anyone voice acting. The okay, Green like, Goblin's yeah. narrating it. Wow, <laughs> it is insane. They have Which uh, Green William Goblin. Who's narrating it? William, William Defoe. Defoe. Oh, okay. the only Green well. Goblin that matters. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oops. Wouldn't Yoda <laughs> technically be some kind of Green Goblin? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> By the way, Luna Comics in chat says Yaddle is a girl. Oh, Yaddle's a girl. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, so shoot. way to assume gender. You can tell oh, no. I am a Star Wars <laughs> man. Yeah. We don't That's really how much we know about the lore right there. I know, sure right? do. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. No, so they have William Defoe. They also Willem. have. Jane Willem. Yeah, Willem Defoe. Willem. Uh, Jane... Put respect on the name, right? <laughs> <laughs> Willem. Oh, Okay, <laughs> uh, James McAvoy, Daisy yes. Ridley. Oh, There's wow. a Star Wars connection. Um, so it, it's insane that they got this cast for such an indie project. I don't even know how they did this. I don't even like yeah. that. That right there is like a really nice cherry on top of an indie game that might have went completely under the radar for people. And I love when you have these conventions and they have uh -huh. like some like random connection to celebrities or like this really cool concept or game that really helps them shine and hopefully gets more players to try it out. So, so that I, was, that was, I love how you just talked about indie games being on a tight budget. And then you just started lifting <laughs> all these actors that are in this indie game. For real. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what I was going to say. Like, did, I wonder, I wonder, did they, are these actors kind of like doing a favor? Did they really like the pitch? Is this story something that like, we can't miss out on this? Are they bored? Bored. <laughs> Well, I mean, didn't Willem Dafoe play like uh, someone in the uh, what is it the the Death Note um, live action? Oh movie? yeah, yeah. He, he did play... of that too. What do you mean? No, he, he's that's literally like, like a live the demon action, guy. A bunch of movie, right? Oh, interesting. Yeah, but it's yeah. <laughs> so it looks so funny. Yeah, exactly. Maybe he's just bored, just wants to do random stuff. Yeah, it's not that fun. Willem Dafoe, I can understand, but like James McAvoy and Daisy Ridley are pretty high profile, so I'm like Especially really. Right now? Yeah. Like, yeah, like they're still very relevant. Um, and yeah, I think I'm like on the same page yeah. with Zeus in terms of being just shocked by that news. I don't mm -hmm. know if it was like a Microsoft thing. They're like, oh, you Maybe. know, you may have some friends that want to hop on the <laughs> title. You know, like they're just like, oh, we we know. You know, do you know uh, James McAvoy? We we kind of know him. We'll help. We'll help you out. You know, like I <laughs> do know um, Xbox when they get involved or Microsoft Studios when they get involved into these projects, they really do go all out with helping these indies, um, especially yeah. if they see the potential with it. So I'm looking forward to that one. I do want to talk briefly before we move on to what I know Caboose is waiting on. <laughs> um, I, I want to talk about the awards. Okay. So uh, usually at these conventions, you see like, awards they give out awards like best in show all that stuff yeah and yeah can you guys guess what game was best in show at gamescon just a wild guess star wars like that one no the biggest <laughs> one of the biggest games releasing this year come on guys the biggest game cyberpunk yes gta 5 on next year. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> Years and years. <laughs> Who cares about Cyberpunk? I, There's Lego. I've been up for so long. I keep forgetting about it. So I don't know. <laughs> well, and I think that's the thing. It's like I was going to ask you guys because Cyberpunk uh, 2077 took home best at Gamescom, and it's been sweeping up a lot of these conventions uh, just for what they've showed. It's supposed mm -hmm. to be yeah. super innovative. What if you guys seen anything? It looks really cool um, in terms of how deep this game really goes in terms of uh, your playing mechanics. Mm -hmm. So I, I was wondering, you know, when you're hearing about a game like Cyberpunk for so long and it wins best of show at Gamescom or best of Gamescom award, um, does, it matter? does it mm -hmm. matter? Does it matter? Does it matter at that point? Doesn't matter what. Yeah, you're right. I it was paying right. attention to any of the awards that were given out because like, I don't know, it just it wasn't the atmosphere, I feel like for it. You know, when you when you see mm -hmm. that stuff at E3 or when you're 
there at Gamescom. It's like, oh, okay, here's a bunch of people who walked around the show floor, got to play mm -hmm. these games, and decided this is the best of the show. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when it's mm -hmm. when it's a whole virtual event, it's like, uh, okay, I guess I believe you. I, mean, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Yeah, there's no reason. There's no reason to doubt Rigged. them. Right? So yeah. yeah. Well, and I think it's but, also maybe. Caboose, we have a different perspective because we go to E3. Yes. Right? So yes. once we're at E3, we're in the atmosphere of the excitement. We are literally getting our hands on the game. Right. Uh, and testing it out. So we seem so involved. Like, even the awards for me, That's I usually true. don't pay attention to that stuff until I'm on the plane going home. Um, because usually there's so much breaking news at on the show. Oh my god! During E3, that like you're trying to just keep up with, or like I miss E3. On. Um, Aww. so, so like, much. I miss it so much too. Will it be back next year? I hope so. Mm. I hope it comes back next was year. That a, was yeah. that a sarcastic me too, Alex? Yeah, I've never gone. Was that okay? <laughs> <laughs> I've never gone to one. <laughs> That's okay, Alex. I'm with you. Um, okay. <laughs> Sarcasm. Every time Alex says, <laughs> <I'm like sarcasm. laughs> um, but yeah, these awards, like I really don't care for shows having these awards, especially when they're just supposed to break news <laughs> about games. It's like, okay, cool. Why don't you let fans decide what was best in show based on what they saw at Gamescom? Because according to Caboose, that would be nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gamescom roast. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. But we'll look <laughs> forward to the next Gamescom.